Put strawberries in water and add one ingredient. Everyone will ask why your strawberries are so sweet and stay fresh for so long. Additionally, you'll get rid of bugs and mold spores. The strawberries will be sweeter and stay fresh longer. Usually, we bring strawberries home, rinse them with water, and start enjoying them. It should be done differently. First, get a bowl. Fill it with water and place the strawberries in it. Now you have two options. One is to add salt. Don't worry, the strawberries won't taste salty. Almost everyone knows that salt enhances sweetness. Thanks to salt, everything tastes sweeter, even strawberries. But that's not the main reason we soak strawberries in salt. Wait for about 15 minutes. After this time, look in the bowl and at your strawberries. If there were bugs in the strawberries, they will come out. If there weren't any, you'll just see dirt in the bowl. Rinse the strawberries thoroughly with clean water and put them in a serving bowl. The second method is to add apple cider vinegar to the water with the strawberries. This will not only get rid of bugs, but also mold spores. This way your strawberries will stay fresh much longer. Just like with the first trick, rinse the strawberries thoroughly with clean water before eating them. Pour this into a bowl of strawberries and see what happens. This fizzing foam is incredibly important. Put the strawberries in water and add two ingredients. Everyone will ask why your strawberries stay fresh for so long. With this trick, you'll get rid of bugs and mold spores. Usually, we just rinse strawberries with water and start enjoying them. But we should do it differently. First, get a bowl and put the strawberries in it. Prepare the first ingredient, which is vinegar. Pour some into the bowl with the strawberries. Then take baking soda and add it to the bowl as well. Don't worry, nothing bad will happen to them. The baking soda will produce a great effect. The ingredients will start to fizz vigorously, thoroughly cleaning the strawberries. The combination of baking soda and vinegar also helps prevent the fruits from molding quickly. Wait for about 15 minutes. After this time, look into the bowl and at your strawberries. You'll notice a lot of dirt in the bowl that you wouldn't have seen if you had only washed them with water. Rinse the strawberries thoroughly under running water and place them in a serving bowl. If there were any bugs in the fruit, this simple trick will get rid of them. Fry a chicken in water, and you won't fry it any other way ever. The trick with water will make it crispy and juicy. It's hard to believe, but if you put chicken directly into oil, it often turns dry and rubbery. And on top of that, while frying, you have everything around the pot or pan splashed with grease. There's a better way to fry it. Use some water and you won't have any more mess. You will see how it makes the crispiest chicken ever, thanks to a bit of water. Yes, just plain water. Get one kilo of chicken wings. Cut off the tips. We will use the wings drumsticks only. Prepare your favorite seasonings for the chicken that you like, such as salt, bell pepper, paprika, turmeric, or curry. Add them to the chicken and mix. Sprinkle the lime over the meat with the spices. In another bowl, scoop one cup of corn flour. Add half a cup of plain flour to it. Put a pinch of salt and mix the ingredients. Set the bowl and a dish of water by the pan. Take a piece of chicken, coat it in flour, thoroughly the whole piece, then dip it briefly in the water. Wait until it drips and put it right into the heated oil. Let's do it again. I will show you this with another piece. It must be thoroughly coated in flour, then dip it very briefly in water, and when it no longer drips water, put it on the heated fat. You will be surprised. The fat will not splash if you do it correctly. See, I hold my hand over the pan and nothing splashes. After a while, the chicken is fried. It looks extremely appetizing, tasty. It is extremely crispy and very juicy. Try this recipe the next time you want to fry chicken drumsticks or wings. You certainly won't regret it. Are you annoyed by the new caps on bottles? I'll show you that you can use these new bottles in a practical way, and you might even start to like them. Although the new attached caps are inconvenient to use, there is a way around them. These caps are a result of EU regulations. 
This is to make recycling easier and provide better environmental protection. Small bottle caps were often lost and didn't always end up in the right containers. Now almost every plastic bottle has a cap attached to it. Unfortunately, unscrewing such a cap is impractical, and drinking or pouring from it is often quite a challenge. Comment below what you think about these new caps. But these caps can actually be an advantage of the bottle. Loosen the ring to which the cap is attached and remove it along with the ring. It turns out that this little ring can be a great bottle handle. Screw the bottle shut. Attach it, for example, to a carabiner on your backpack. You can also attach keys together and keep them with the bottle in your bag or backpack. You can even secure the bottle inside your bag to prevent it from tipping over. As you can see, using the new caps as handles is a great idea. Don't store food in ice cream containers. You'll be shocked at what happens to them. You've probably thought you had ice cream in the fridge, only to find dill inside. Many people don't throw away ice cream tubs. Instead, they use them in their kitchens. This is a huge mistake. Ice cream container manufacturers didn't anticipate such uses for the containers. Putting leftovers, meat, salads, or soups in them can be dangerous. My mother-in-law used to do this, but when I told her about it, she immediately stopped. What's the issue? It turns out that some food products interact with the containers. Reusing packaging can allow harmful chemicals to leach into the food. The warm temperature of the dish can precipitate chemical components from it. Ice cream containers are not suitable for storing dairy and eggs. Plastic promotes the growth of dangerous microorganisms. Processed meat loses its taste and nutritional properties. Cheeses may begin to smell musty. Food in such containers molds much faster. Moreover, we should store food in transparent containers. Ice cream containers are colored with chemical paints. The quality and application of this plastic are not intended for refreezing. I put a bag over the fan and couldn't believe the results. I had never done it this way before. Prepare a container and squeeze a tablespoon of toothpaste into it. Any cheap toothpaste you have at home will do. Then, add 200 milliliters of warm water. Mix until the toothpaste dissolves. The next ingredient is dish soap. Measure out two tablespoons and add it to the mixture. Finally, pour in vinegar. Make sure it's white vinegar. Add two tablespoons. Mix everything thoroughly. Get a spray bottle and use a funnel to pour in the mixture you just made. When you take out your fan in the spring, its blades and casing are covered in dust. Spray it generously with the solution. It's very important to clean it thoroughly before the first use. Dust and mites can cause runny noses, allergies, and respiratory problems. The solution will get into all the nooks and crannies without having to disassemble the casing. Once you've thoroughly sprayed the fan, take a clean trash bag and put it over the fan, tying it securely. Then, turn on the highest setting. The mixture will spread throughout the fan and expel the dust. It only takes one minute. After that, just remove the bag and throw it away. If you want, you can wipe the fan with a cloth, but you don't have to, and you're done.